Hello everyone, Sam is here from myforestmagicweb.com making this a small video about the weekly recap last week trades taken using Magic IB system. So let's get started. Um, this is pound USD 20 minute and uh, this was right uh, before um, uh, the, the, the news, uh, the election actually uh, in UK on the 17th. Um, I think it's after the election, sorry. Uh, the 17th was the Friday, right? And um, so this is uh, how the pound start uh, getting uh, weaker again. So uh, and then see this pound newsy also big trade. Uh, pound newsy is a monster. It has a um, daily range of almost like 180 pip a day. This pair moves around 180 pip in one single day. Average 180 pip every single day. So a very good chance of uh, hitting a big trade. Uh, if you catch the right entry, you can have like, you know, 125, 30, 40, 50, 150 pip trade easy out of that this pair. So on the 17th, you can see again, it's um, uh, pound uh, uh, yen. It's uh, the 20 minute, um, 190 pip. Again, pound was uh, dropping big time, uh, was getting weaker, and all pound pair went down. Okay, so that's what it is. And then, and this pair also has a daily range, big, big daily range. This is, uh, everybody called this pair like, you know, dragon or something, right? So, yeah. So, pound CAD, um, this was uh, actually the setup. This is how I was showing uh, uh, to my subscriber. I send out this uh, on Telegram uh, channel that this is a setup and it's going to drop and then make your entry, right? So, 74.95 was this, you know, SNL level, uh, turn line, beautiful, uh, you know, indicate all the way up here was uh you know the entry was cooked and look what happened to this one this was the entry there right so it came all the way down giving you this entry this entry this entry this entry you know this entry so many entries but i was up yeah uh, i mean sorry in uh, here so that was uh, you know enough one entry was enough and from here to here 150 pip okay you can see that this right there there is no trade open but you know the, the trick is that uh, when you have a couple of red candles then we open the trade and put the sl right above it uh, usually our sl is not more than 25 pip uh, sometimes 22 pip you know sometimes 23 24 or maximum 25 and then uh, you ride all the way down right and if your sl hit you hit for 25 pip when you make you make something like that this is the idea uh so anyway um and then pound Aussie, same thing. Then this pair didn't move much, but because of uh, the Aussie was getting weaker as well, so it was just keep trying to go up, right? So, but it's still 110 pip, not bad, right? And on the 17, you can see how many pound trades on 17, right? And then this is a uh, Euro Aussie, right? Because uh, Aussie weakness as well as Euro got strong, and boom, all the way straight. Then you have on uh, 17 again, this is a second G entry. I closed that one somewhere here, then it dropped, and then the next day following up here, and then see this is, uh, well, the same day actually. And it says, okay, maybe it's gonna go drop more, and 120 pip more. Similarly, pound yen, second entry on the 17th. Uh, the first one was closed there somewhere, and then it dropped, retraced, and again, second entry here, 70 pip. Th these are my sell orders you can see and the sl move to you know break even plus always on the 17th again this is pound cad uh, uh not this is uh, uh written before right but this was the second entry uh, only from here to here 50 pip again right second trade sell order here and uh, right you know exactly you will see all of my trades uh, my entries are by the book with the setup nothing without the setup right this was the setup here, entry was here, right there. This is indicated all the way up. And, uh, you know, the price is in between yellow and black line. The bl yellow is below the black. You know, so, you know, I have rules for this setup. Now, here, this one, pound Aussie. Look at this one here all the way. Uh, sell order from, it is from the top. And uh, uh, just like a, an early entry, right? When uh, somebody signed up, I teach all of that, uh, you know, uh, in my webinars live webinars Wednesday and Sunday uh, this is by the book entry this is by the book entry but once you are master of this strategy you can take a little bit uh, you know like even uh, early entries from the top and uh, that's one of those on the 18th 
I forgot to put uh, the amount of pippage here. Uh, here on the 18th, again, pound newsy, but the book entry here and all the way down, sell order. Pound was all sell, sell, sell last week. Pound Aussie again, this is a small entry, you know, small trade, but you know, something. And uh, after the big trade, a uh, big day like, uh, you know, Monday or Tuesday, right? Uh, Monday and Tuesday, everything slows down. And then uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, Christmas time now coming, you know, the third uh, uh, part of the December, right? And it's going to get slow, very slow. And now uh, USD CAD uh, was, a, you know, usually I don't trade this pair, but, it's, you know, my, my alarm was beeping that we have a nice, beautiful setup. So, I said, you know, what? Let's just take it. Uh, uh, nice looking setup. Here, by the book, beautiful setup on pound yen again on seven minutes for 90 pip all the way down. Boom, right? And on the 19th, pound Aussie again, beautiful by the book. You see that, this setup? The setup is that, you know, usually on the 20 minute is the best one, seven minute is a little risky, but 20 minute is the best one. And the price is below the wave. Um, yellow is below the black indicators all the way up and then price drop and then go into the wave coming out with the reversal candle and couple of red candles you open the trade and you put the sl right there above it and that's it so you can see this entry here now sl never got hit here never hit here never here never right so you, any of these entries was a perfect entry and take you all the way down this is from here to here is only uh 125 pip this only this distance that from here would pr would be probably like 175 or something right? uh and then on the 19 euro aussie again went up and whatever but then it started to come down and this was because of the euro weakness uh, i have my own uh, weekly charts as well which uh, you know my analysis technical analysis and based on that we take these uh, uh, trades that you know where the heck this pair is going to go uh, more likely and then if i can find uh, trades or entries in that direction then we start taking them and then finally euro usd the last uh, from uh, uh, seven minute chart on the 20th which is, was was uh, friday and uh, nice little entry again by the book entry here the price was dropping the first entry and then drop a little bit more and then i says well it's going down because euro was getting weaker so and you know i took this one out of the way um, but you know euro usd usd cad usually i don't trade but pound already has done a lot so then you know what happens is that it takes a breather and then the other pair gets a chance to move a little bit so i said you know what uh, maybe usd cad usd uh, you know yen i was trying to get the usd yen, but i didn't get it that, that pair is about to move uh, it's not moving but it will uh, move very soon let me just show you uh, real quick that what it is doing and it is going to move big and i'm getting ready for that not a problem when it will move i will be all over it and similarly other pairs as well uh, usd pair i'm talking about see this is how it is this is at the teal right now you can see here probably much better yeah this is my chart basically um, and uh, see this the teal here this blue teal this rising teal and then 61 percent all of these three things uh, and USD, I'm expecting weakness there, and yen uh, index is ready to uh, get it strong. So very, very good setup here. The similar, I have uh, you know uh, trade setups uh, on the weekly chart on a daily chart, just like this one, on all the pairs: pound, cad, pound, yen, pound, USD, you know, all of those big movers. And uh, according to that, uh, we go on from here. Uh, we go on our um, you know 20 minutes, 30 minutes for entries and. Uh, even 33 minute chart for uh, nice uh, setups and the, put these uh, SNR levels there and you uh, trade accordingly. So this is the whole system from weekly chart analysis down to 33 minute chart, uh, directional chart, and then entry from 20 and seven. And that's what I teach in my webinar, how to use this strategy as well as Elliott Wave, harmonic pattern, all these calculation, blah, blah, blah. So if you really want to learn this business, um, if you're looking for buy and sell signals, so this is not me, and I don't provide the signals. But what I do, uh, do is that I'll teach you every single thing about this business and how to do it. And uh, if you really want to learn, you can even go uh, on uh, my website and see this one-on-one uh, -on -one forex coaching. 
uh, I teach you from A to Z uh, over Skype uh, and then uh, you know uh, including harmonic patterns, Elliott wave, asana level, trend, you know, uh, trend lines, every single aspect of, you know Fibonacci tool, this, that, every single thing I teach you uh, from A to Z and you know then that what is happening in the forest market and what you need to be doing all the time okay so if you like you just go on my website you know this is what it is and uh, subscribe uh, either monthly if you have an experience already and uh, if you are doing good if you are positive you, know, you don't need to do anything just keep doing what you are doing but if you are struggling and if you need to learn if you want to learn the forest business if you have the need to learn then you know either you subscribe on a monthly basis and learn from um, little by little from my uh, weekly uh, um, webinars or twice a week i do webinar right uh, live webinars where i teach a little bit here this and that and then some, uh, you know you know the same time i do the technical analysis and then show you this you know all the upcoming uh, you know, weekly charts uh, trade setups and um, tell you what to do for the next couple of days and like I said, if you want the intense uh, learning, coaching, then one-on-one -on -one is the best. If you don't know, if you don't have much experience, then, you know, it's better to start from the beginning, from the right, you know, the right way. Because if you learn the wrong things, that will go along a long way with you, okay? It's going to be very hard to erase those bad, uh, bad things, right? And then if you, you know, make the habit of making mistakes, then it is very hard to uh, override those those habits so it's always good to learn the right thing from the beginning okay and the right thing is you can see right here that you know how uh, you know this system is i created after almost like 10 12 years of experience so um, you know, that's uh, <laughs> that's the way i learned <laughs> and uh, these 10 12 year of experience and after that this is what i have to show and um, you can learn this in few months okay and do the same thing it's not it's not a rocket science it's easy it's just a matter of learning what's uh, that what's the difference between uh, failure and um, uh, you know getting being failed and, uh, and and winning is learning right if you don't learn the f you know just chances to be uh, failed is, is, is much higher and then if you learn something properly then the chances of uh, winning you know gets much much higher right so that's the difference so this is it for now uh, i'm not going to take more time today is saturday um, you want to be a part of it learn how to do it uh, go ahead and subscribe and over the weekend you know saturday sunday you can set up your charts and get ready and uh, sunday i will do a webinar where i will uh, show the you know uh, all the possible setups and what to do uh, for Monday and Tuesday to my subscribers so you get to uh, be a part of that as well if you subscribe today you can uh, or tomorrow I have a, a webinar probably set up at 4 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow okay so if you join you can uh, you know uh, attend that webinar and learn what to do next uh, it's gonna be slow very very slow now uh, because of the December and the Christmas right around the corner, right? So, but it's still, it's a good time to learn. It's a good time to learn and get prepared, right? So this is it for now. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful weekend.